The Gentle Bulldozer Written by Amy Barron Illustrated by Roger Coelho Bulldozer's construction family began each day with a chant. Our team is strong and brave. We smash and wreck all day. Excavator and dump truck shouted the words cheerfully. Backhoe and crane sang the words loudly, but Bulldozer just whispered the words as quietly as he could. The heavy machines smashed and growled. Walls fell, boulders cracked, and debris flew every which way. With each task completed, laughter and joy filled the air. Bang! Crash! Crack! Slam! But Bulldozer just crept along slowly, moving piles of dirt and gravel, hoping the others wouldn't notice the frown on his face. He felt empty inside, yet when he checked his gas tank, it was filled to the brim. I don't like breaking things, he said with a sigh. Why is this my job? Because you're a fearless bulldozer. That's why, said Excavator, racing off to dig up dirt. The next day, Crane asked Bulldozer to knock down a tree. Bulldozer hung his head low, inched up, and readied his blade. But he just couldn't do it. I'm sorry, everyone, he said. I know I'm a bulldozer, but I can't hurt a tree. I hope you don't think less of me. Bulldozer drove off, feeling like a failure. He was a bulldozer, and bulldozers were not meant to be gentle. He drove for hours, passing cars, animals, forests, and lakes. At last, he came to a farm. The midday sun was very hot, so he stopped to rest. He watched the farmer tend to his crops. How are you? Bulldozer asked, pulling up beside him. I'm worried, the farmer said glumly. The roof of my barn is falling down, and a heavy rainstorm is coming tonight. My animals will not have a dry place to sleep. I tried to fix the roof myself, but the wooden planks are too heavy. Say, can you help me? Bulldozer thought for a moment. His job was to destroy things, so he doubted he could fix a roof. But he was too polite to say no. He sprang into action, scooping up a wooden plank. Crack! The plank broke in half. I knew I couldn't do it, Bulldozer said. But the farmer just smiled. Try again. Point your blade down a little more this time, and you'll have it. Bulldozer pointed his blade down a little more and ever so carefully lifted a plank. Success! He held the plank in place while the farmer hammered it in. Together, they whistled as they worked. By nightfall, the roof was secure. When Bulldozer saw the finished roof, he beamed. Thank you, said the farmer, placing some seeds in Bulldozer's blade. You are quite a gifted builder. Take these as a token of my appreciation. Missing his family back at the construction site, Bulldozer headed home. When heavy rain filled the sky, he was glad the farmer's animals were snug and dry in the barn. The next morning, Bulldozer arrived home, sparkling from the rain's cleansing bath. His family cheered as he honked his horn. Bulldozer, said Dump Truck. Where do you go? Sorry I left so suddenly, Bulldozer said. I helped a farmer fix the roof of his barn and learned that I can do more than just destroy. Really? Bulldozers are meant for destruction, said Crane. I don't understand. I'll show you, said Bulldozer. Follow my lead. Bulldozer directed Excavator to dig a hole for the foundation. 
He asked backhoe to level the ground. Bulldozer carried cinder blocks to Crane, who carefully lowered them into place. Dump truck hauled away the debris. The whole family rejoiced as walls were constructed. Hooray! High fives all around! The group sang, Our team is strong and brave! It's fun to build today! And this time, Bulldozer sang along. They had built a house! Bulldozer cruised to a sunny spot by the side of the house and sprinkled the farmer's seeds in the dirt. There grew a tree, which still stands today. Hope you liked our video! Please subscribe!